Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm here in San Francisco at AdTech and uh, been fascinated with uh, mobile commerce, uh, selling products and services and content uh, using mobile phones. I have with me today Andy Bobbington, who is the VP of Product Marketing for Bango. Your piece of this is that you aggregate payment services, among other things, for your clients who would be people selling uh, various kinds of content to people on cell phones. Absolutely, everything from the large brands right the way down to the small to medium businesses and indeed individuals that have digital content that they wish to sell on the mobile handset. So what's being sold right now through a mobile handset? What kinds of what kinds of things are being sold? A wide range of things are being sold, all from the, the traditional ringtones um, and wallpapers that we've seen in the past, uh, right the way through to the latest uh, music, digital videos, um, all of those things that are available on the PC are now available for sale on the mobile um, through the Bango um, payment solution. The majority of the of the uh, customers that we work with, the majority of the merchants are selling digital content. Uh, we do have a, a very small handful of people that are selling uh, hard goods. Typically, it's things like magazine subscriptions because, again, that's a very simple thing. A uh, very simple thing to understand uh, and to be able to do via the mobile handset. Okay. Now you have three different kinds of payment systems on your platform. Mm -hmm. Now the most popular of those is what? Most popular by a long way is paying on a phone bill. Why is it so popular do you think? Uh, the primary reason is you know, that the handset that you have in front of you, you already have typically a contract with the carrier. You already have a method of payment that's already in place. So there's no further information to collect. So there's no need to enter credit card details or your PayPal account details on the handset. You've immediately set up to pay, single click with your thumb, pay on the phone bill, and the payment just happens. So it's very, very simple to do. It's, uh, there's, there's a lot of fear that people have about giving away information to someone they don't know. Mm -hmm. And I expect being able to pay on, you know, with a company that you're comfortable with on that bill without having to give other information. Yeah, that's kind of comforting. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, to some extent, if you have to get your credit card out and enter the details, you feel a little bit more like you are paying for something. Whereas just simply clicking to get, you know, a, a music track for a couple of dollars is a very, very simple thing to do. And you know, it's just that little bit of less resistance. Uh, it's a little bit more convenient. Uh, you may not have your credit card with you. You may not remember what your PayPal details are. So whereas just clicking. People hardly think they're paying. I think I heard you say that. <laughs> In a lot of cases, yeah, it's 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 convenience buying. You know, it's that it's that sort of impulse buy, um, and a lot of the content that we see people purchase is indeed, as I say, digital media. It's the latest music track or the latest um, video. Now, uh, with with these carrier billings, you can do recurring billing. I'm assuming. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we can charge either per individual download for a timed access. So we'll give you access to maybe some news information uh, for a day. Uh, or you can do a recurring subscription billing, which can be pay monthly or pay weekly, that sort of thing. Now, so the second type is credit cards, yep. and you take three pieces of information from the people. What do you take? Very classic credit card uh, information. So the credit card number, the expiry date, and the three-digit security code. Um, the credit card payment flow is very much like you'd expect to see on a, on a PC site. So if you sat there on a PC, you'd enter those details, hit buy, away you'd go. On the mobile, you do exactly the same, except obviously the screen's slightly smaller. Now, will you also capture their, their cell phone number? Uh, we don't capture the cell phone number within the flow, um, but uh, we do have access with some carriers to the, the telephone number. We use that Be for security reasons. Because um, from a merchant standpoint, you're selling to someone you have no way of knowing or getting in touch with, perhaps, mm -hmm. that may be ripping you off. Yeah. So there's... Uh, I mean, when I sell stuff on my website, I want their name and their address and their you know, billing address and their phone number and check the zip code against the, you know, the whole shot because yep. I don't want to get ripped off. Uh, how dangerous is it to, with, you know, to get ripped off for a merchant, say, uh, selling digital goods? Is that common? Uh, not with the Bango system because in a lot of cases we take most of the risk on those side of things. So if we collect payment for you uh, and we hand um, through our payment back to you to for provision of the content, so if you're download page. Once we've done that, we've secured payment. We know that we will get paid by that consumer. 
therefore you as a, as a merchant will get paid. So we take a lot of that complexity and risk out of the system. Now, um, the third kind of payment then is PayPal. Correct. You can set up that. I, now a merchant can set up PayPal themselves. Yeah. But you can set it up as one of three different systems. Yeah, the majority of the customers, the majority of the merchants that come to Bango for payment are looking for carrier billing. Um, that is the most convenient, it gives the highest success rate. Things like credit card, credit card's important. Um, if you're, for, for example, selling uh, music with rap, rap lyrics, um, rap lyrics may have adult themes which may not be permissible to be sold under, say, the AT&T network. Um, credit card can be used in those instances. Um, now, security is always a question. Sure. How, how secure is this for credit card, putting my credit card into my uh, cell phone or smartphone, how secure is that? It's as secure as the web is today. So, you know, a lot of the technologies we're seeing being used here by Bango um, are standard web technologies. This is about bringing the internet to the mobile phone. The first hop is obviously from the handset to the carrier, uh, and that is provided there are secure mechanisms by which that data is transmitted. Um, from the carrier to us, that's just a standard web connection. Um, and that will use the standard um, secure ways of doing web connections. Uh, the connection from us to the billing provider, that is by far the most secure link we have. Uh, we actually have direct connections with a lot of the carriers and that is, that's tight, okay. tightened down. So costs now, uh, sure. your fees for this, you, you, the, the bottom end program is uh, one country, mm -hmm. as I remember from our conversation, yep. one country, $500 a month, Correct. plus 8% of the transaction. So we've gone for a very simple monthly fee. That monthly fee gives you, uh, for the payment products, gives you um, the payment connections. Um, you actually get the whole worldwide connection, but what we do is we give you the decent payout rate for the chosen country at that price. Okay. Um, for twice that price, you'll actually get the whole world. So it's very simple. You get all of the services and, and, uh, and customer support. And as well the higher that. the volume, the lower the percentage rate, essentially. Yeah, I mean, if you're doing very large volumes, um, then obviously we can afford to give you more and more of the of the money that, and, that is paid. And now I know what credit cards cost merchants, and a lot of my readers do because they do this kind of business. Yep. But I was shocked at what carriers charge. What? What's, what is a carrier charge in the US typically, yep. their fee to put that on their bill? So typically the fee in the US at this point in time is around about the 30 to 35% mark. That's what they keep. Um, things are improving. Um, over the last few years we have seen uh, the carriers uh, reduce that transaction percentage. And if we look at some of the leading markets in the world, uh, if we look at Vodafone in the UK, which I'd say is one of the leading lights in this area, um, their transaction fee now is down to around about 20%. It sounds like for those rates to get put it on your cell phone, you can't sell tangible goods and make any money. It really, you have to sell electrons uh, to make any money at that kind of rate. Either that or you need to have very good margins on yeah. the tangible goods. Well, this is fascinating to see how this whole kind of marketplace is developing. Uh, tell me a little bit more about your business mm -hmm. and what you do. So Bango is a company, we've been going now for nine years, uh, since 99. Um, we focus primarily on uh, content providers, on merchants um, and brands that are looking to uh, deliver marketing out to through the mobile web. We do three things. The first thing we do is we help them generate traffic to their site. That's through the integration. Second, the second one. Yep, the second thing that we do is analytics, who is visiting my site. And the, third? And the third thing is obviously collecting payments. Well, Andy, thanks so much for taking time with me today. This is Ralph Wilson from AdTech with Web Marketing Today.